Aw, oh, some new dinosaur toys. We have the Jurassic World Primal Attack Dinosaur Toy Spin Wheel Game. Wow, let's go ahead and try this out. First, we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel. Yay, and win some awesome prizes. Let's go. Where it lands, no one knows. Oh, it's the mighty T-Rex. Okay, looking at our giant box of fun, where is the T-Rex? Oh, there is the mighty T-Rex. Okay, and what do we do with the T-Rex? Yes, we punch it in the nose. Wow, it's the Mattel Jurassic World Primal Attack Massive Fighters Tarbosaurus. Okay, so let's check out Massive Fighters Tarbosaurus. You've got good chomping action with the control here in the tail. Head moving action up and down. So you could have cool, like striking chomping action. Cool. It's a massive biters, Tarbosaurus. Again, control is in the tail just like the Indominus Rex. Oh, he's gonna try to steal Wheatley from the Indominus Rex. That's not a good idea. So this one, again, you got a uh, side to side movement controlled by the tail up and down so you could have like chomping and movement side to side. That's so cool. I mean, you just have so much cooler dino battles. Here's the cry of... Oh, look at that. I mean, it's just so cool dino battles. Okay, time to spin the giant wheel of fun again. Oh, where will she land? Oh, we have landed on the mighty Indominus Rex. Okay, where is our Indominus Rex in our giant box of fun? There she is, all the way up there. And what are we gonna do with the Indominus Rex? We're gonna free her. What was in there? Wow, it's a Jurassic World Massive Biter Sarcosuchus Mattel Primal Attack. Cool. Okay, so for the Massive Biter Sarcosuchus, you got the chomping action here in the tail. This is one awesome looking Sarcosuchus. It looks like a huge gator. I mean, these creatures were absolutely huge. And awesome! So massive biters thrash and chomp Sarcosuchus. Yes, again, control in the tail. So a lot of these primal attack ones, they have put the control in the tail, which I love. I mean, look at that. You could turn its head side to side and chomping at the same time. I mean, <laughs> How cool is that? I mean, you could have so realistic looking battles with this. Here the little Saurapelta just comes in and ah, the Sarcosuchus has him! Ah, ah, side to side movement, twisting up and down, slamming him and ah, down he goes. So the Sarcosuchus is totally awesome. Check her out. So she is like a massive crocodile. Uh, I believe she's about twice the size, but about 20 times the weight. So she would just come up when dinos come by the water to get a drink and she would just grab them and drag them in. And that is the end. So she could probably take down a T-Rex if he came by the water's edge and he was drinking not paying attention and she sprung out that T-Rex is probably going down 
Okay, time to spin the giant wheel of fun again! Where will she land? Oh, what is that? That looks like a duckbill platypus! Okay, where is our duckbill? There she is! She's trying to hide! Quick! We have to go ahead and free the treasure! What was in there? Whoa! It's the Jurassic World Primal Attack! Sound Strike Triceratops! Cool! Okay, so with this Triceratops, they actually change from the action button on top to the action button to the action in the tail. So you have head turning action here. So very realistic battle. And you can move the head up and down. How cool is that? A new gray, green, and brown color scheme. It says primal attack, triceratops. Double head strike. And then Mattel has given us the sound strike triceratop, which I really like, guys. This is probably one of my favorite triceratops they made because, again, controls in the tail. So the head will turn side to side. It will move up and down so you can create much more realistic looking battles. This was their, uh, like, older model. The movement is all right here on the back and it could just go pretty much up and down. So with this one, you could have this one come up and swing its head side to side and then just sit there and challenge this one and ah, off they go. Ah, who's gonna be the victor? And ah, the new one takes down the old. So once again, guys, I mean, that is just so cool and realistic. You can make some awesome dino battles with this movement. I mean, because you don't have to have your hand there on the button all the time. So it's just cool. And I mean, she could even challenge the Indominus Rex. Except I think the Indominus Rex would eat her regardless so she is like gray and green and I mean she's just awesome looking the mold is pretty much the same as the old ones but with the movement in the tail it makes a world of difference okay let's spin that giant wheel of fun again where will she land oh looks like it's the mighty Stegosaurus. Okay, so where is our Stegosaurus? Uh oh, is she not there? Oh, there she is! Quick, before she escapes, we have to free the toy! What was in there? Whoa, it's the Control and Conquer Carnotaurus! Wow, this primal attack, control and conquer, Carnotaurus is totally awesome. Full side to side movement of the head, chomping action, lifting action. I mean, this is like the ultimate dino. Cool. Awesome. Let's go ahead and open her up. This guy is totally awesome because they put the controls in the tail. So you could go up and down and sideways and forward. So you could have some really cool dino battles. Here I have it with the Tarbosaurus. So with the control on that one on the tail too, you got much more room for awesome dino battles. And they look a lot more realistic because your hand is not in the picture. Ah, <laughs> cool. Okay, back to our giant wheel of fun. Who will we get this time? Oh, it looks like it's the... Apatosaurus. Okay, so our Apatosaurus is right next to the Indoraptor. Uh-oh. Maybe the Indoraptor's gonna get her. 
Quick, we gotta rescue her and punch her out! What was in there? Wow, it's the Jurassic World! Primal attack, Cryolophosaurus, sound strike, cool. Okay, so brand new carnivore. Ooh, that sounds cool. So you got the head movement side to side, up and down, and he could go up and down like that to chomp. Cool, cool. It doesn't have chomping through the tail. You have to uh, like physically open his mouth to do that. But really, oh wow, he even has a textured tongue. How cool is that? I think that's one of the first ones I've seen. For Mattel. So this is the Primal Attack Thrashing Action Cryolophosaurus. Once again, full control in the tail here, up and down, sideways. So you got like massive attacking action, striking. I mean, it's just the coolest dino. Only thing you don't have on this one, you don't have control on the mouth by the tail, but she looks really cool. So once again, really cool. Attack with that one! Oh, with the Sarkasukas! Oh, the Sarkasukas has got her! And she's down! Oh, how cool is that? Okay, we've got five more prizes. Go ahead and spin that wheel once again. Oh, uh, looks like, oh, it's the Indoraptor. And our Indoraptor is directly dead center. He's creeping up, he's trying to get away. We're gonna go ahead and stop him. What was in there? Whoa! It's the Primal Attack Mattel Jurassic World Soundstrike Pteranodon! Cool! Okay, so Mattel really went all out with these Primal Attacks. A lot of them have new sounds and everything. So here you've got, uh, this one controls the action, the flapping action, and then you got mouth chomping action here. So you got sounds when you press either one of these buttons, really cool. Also new coloring, it's like a brownish, reddish, green color. It's primal attack, wind flapping action with chomp. Guys, this is the coolest Tranodon they made by far. First of all, it does unfold like the regular ones, but they added a flap here that makes the wings flop up and down, which makes the flying action much more realistic. I mean, look at, look at this flying action here. I mean, you see how the wings go like in and out? Where before, their Tranodons, the wings were sort of fixed. So if you flap the wings, they just went up and down. Now, you have the downward motion, which makes it look so much more realistic. I mean, I love the work Mattel has been doing with these new Primal Attack ones, because they've been doing some serious research on these. And then, also, this one has like the mouth attack by pushing the button right on its back. So you could do, I guess you could do, maybe, ah, oh, let's see if you could do both. That's a little tough to do both. Let me see. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, yeah, it's kind of tough unless you use two hands. But even then, so stick with doing one at a time. But like I said, I mean, that flapping action is totally awesome. Get a good hold of her. Wow, I love it. So, they did a great job with this one. I really love that addition they have done. Really cool. 
coloring is just and the sound is awesome I mean they went all out with the sound with this one I mean it's just it's just the coolest dino okay we've got three more our giant wheel of fun around and around she goes where it stops at the Velociraptor and our Velociraptor is right down bottom there she's creeping up she's hunting she's escaping she oh what was in there the savage strike Sorapelta cool okay so the Jurassic World savage strike Sorapelta this guy is totally awesome or girl I should say Wow, it's small, but it look, it's so cool detail. So, this one says, Savage Strike Sorapelta, Spine Strike, also. Uh, if that Indominus Rex behind her takes a bite, he's gonna be in for a world of pain. This dino is covered with these big, huge horns and armor over her whole body. With this one, you get the side-to-side -side, like action striking uh, mode. So this is another primal attack one. And she's just such a cool looking herbivore. For a small dino, this is actually one of the coolest small dinos that Mattel has made. Okay, now we've got two more. So, spin the giant wheel of fun and uh oh we got a blank let's try that again oh it's the mosasaurus awesome and our mosasaurus is trying to hide at the top right corner but we gotta stop her we gotta get the toy what was in there it's the Attack Pack Calvasaurus! Okay, the Attack Pack Calvasaurus is really cool looking herbivore. And here is the other ones you could get, which I have all of them. Okay, one more dino. Let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, yes, we did! It went exactly on our Triceratops. And since we only have one box left to open, there she is. Oh, she's a tiny little thing. I hate to do this, but I have to punch it in. What was in there? Whoa, it's the attack pack Ornithalistes. And the attack pack Ornithalistes. This is a really cool looking herbivore. Almost a mix between, I mean a carnivore, almost a mix between a raptor and an herbivore. So it looks really cool. Hi guys, Wolf Dinosaur here, and today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video, and I know you're a member of my club. See you soon. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video.